Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to show you how to root the Sony Xperia Z. Okay, first we need to check to see if our bootloader can be unlocked in the first place. So we go to the phone and app and then star pound, star pound, and then spell out service. And then pound, star, pound, star. And then service info configuration and down here at the bottom it'll say bootloader unlock allowed yes or no if it's yes uh, you can go through with the procedure to unlock your bootloader if it's no then you have to uh, root and flash a custom recovery using our method that doesn't require the bootloader to be unlocked okay we're gonna go to settings uh, developer options turn them on Hit okay and make sure USB debugging is checked on Okay, and we're gonna go back to settings, go to security, scroll down to unknown sources and turn that on as well and hit okay. And last thing we're gonna do in here is go to display, go to sleep and make sure it's set to at least 10 minutes. Okay, so then we're gonna download the rooting script by clicking on that link there. and saving that to our desktop. Okay, you're gonna extract the Doomlord rooting script by clicking, right-clicking it, hitting extract all, and hitting extract. Wait for that to finish. And then you can open that folder, uh, and you plug your device in at this point, and it should install the drivers automatically. Then we're going to double click the run me underscore win dot bat. Run. And then once you confirm all of that stuff is done, which you should have already done it, you're going to click enter. And wait for it to finish and then the device will reboot. Press any key to close the command prompt and wait for the device to fully reboot. Okay, next we're gonna do a little thing to solve an issue with the bootloader um, saying that we can't unlock it after we use this root method. So, go to File Explorer, go to Desktop, go to the Doomlord easy rooting thing, then Files. Then we're gonna hold Shift on the keyboard and right click somewhere in a blank area in this folder and hit come Open Command Window here. And we're gonna go back to this page here and type the following, adb shell, enter, su, enter, and then rm for remove, slash data, slash data, slash com dot sony erickson dot android dot service menu, slash lib, slash lib service, menu dot so and hit enter and there we go and then we can type exit and exit again and we're gonna go okay now that we have reaccess we're going to back up our ta uh, so this is the thing that allows you to keep your DRM keys, which is important. So we're going to click on that link there to be taken to the developer's XDA thread. And then you're going to click the download link and save that to your desktop, which I've already done to speed things up. And then you're going to find it and double click it to extract it. Oops, sorry. Right click it and then hit extract all to extract it. And hit extract. Wait for it to do that. And you're gonna double click that new folder. Double click the folder inside that folder. And double click backup hyphen ta dot bat. Hit run. Uh, read the disclaimer. Hit enter to continue. Let's say waiting for device. Once 
that's done, it's going to ask you for an option here. We want to back up, so we're going to hit one. Uh, read that little disclaimer there, and then hit Y. And you can hit enter if you need to. Otherwise, it will automatically try to find stuff. It says, cannot find it by name. Uh, if you want to perform an extensive search, hit Y. And wait for it to now do an extensive search to find it. Make sure that on the device you tap grant when it pops up and says uh, super user permission is being um, accessed. Uh, and then let the command prompt continue. Eventually it will find it and start backing stuff up. And wait for that to finish. Once it's done, it should say integrity check, okay, that's good. Everything is okay. Backup successful. Now you can press any key to continue. Once it's done, we're going to close the command prompt, open up the backup TA folder, open up the one inside, open up backup, and we should have a backup.zip in there. Make sure you don't delete this or delete this folder or anything like that and keep this for as long as you're gonna have this device so that you can always restore this backup. Okay, so now we're gonna flash a custom recovery image. This is optional, but um, it's awesome and you should do it. Uh, it allows you to flash kernels, ROMs, do backups, that fun stuff. So we're going to download the recovery installer app by clicking on this link here. To be taken to the developers page on XDA, scroll down, you'll see the APK version here. Click on that and save that to your desktop. And you're gonna transfer it to the root of your internal storage on your Xperia Z. So not inside any folders, just on it like that. Then we can unplug the device and go to File Commander. Uh, go into, here, I'll show you where I just went. Go into Internal Storage and scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see your new XZ Recovery APK that we just put on. Tap that, hit Install. Then we can go to the XZ Recovery app. Tap Install Recovery. And now we have a custom recovery. If you ever need to get into it, just open this app and hit Reboot Recovery to boot into it. Um, also, keep in mind that if your bootloader is not unlocked, that this will uh, probably erase the custom recovery every time you reboot the device. So you'll have to just tap Install Recovery again to make it come back. Um, other than that though, you can go on to uh, remove the bloatware and any other stuff that you can do with root access. Enjoy. Oh, <laughs>